This is a three pound bag of flower um, drawing silica gel crystals. Essentially, it's a silica gel discant, and it has, it says, 90% clear, 10% orange. So it's orange indicating when they turn green, you know it's absorbed a lot of water. I've received this to review for free, um, but they have not paid me for this review, so my opinions are my own. So the bag includes a Ziploc opening there, and then there's another bag inside of it that does not have a Ziploc. And so once you open this guy, these crystals can get out of places. You might notice these are not beads. They are very small crystals. And so they're designed for getting into the nooks and crannies of flowers and whatever. Um, you can use them to dry anything, but they're a little messier to use than your traditional silica beads. And also they can aerosize a little bit, you know, so they could go up into the air. So when using these, I'm gonna be wearing a respirator mask just to make sure I don't breathe any silica in because silica dust isn't great for your body to have breathed in. Um, also, I'm going to be putting a silicon mat down to make cleanup easy in case I spill anything. So they include instructions on the back. It's basically put a little bit in the base of a airtight container, put the flower on, and then fill in around the flower, not crushing it. Um, you basically want to make sure they're all around the entire flower so they can draw all of the um, liquid um, water moisture out of the flower so the flower won't rot. All right, I used a lot of them because I had a small flower and I could. Um, so this, I put in a little um, hydrometer, a relative humidity meter. Um, it was 64 when it went in. After a couple of hours, this is probably gonna go down significantly. And we're supposed to be leaving this in here from three to seven days to fully dry the flower. I like using a binder clip to seal this off. Um, it's not fully airtight, and so you definitely want to put it back in this bag and, and zip the Ziploc on this bag as well after burping the air out. But the binder clip will do a pretty good job of keeping the crystals from escaping. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I do have a few crystals on this mat, and so I can go and take that to the trash can. I did a pretty good job of not spilling there. All right, in just 10 minutes, this has gone down to 30% relative humidity. All right, this guy's been in here for seven days, and the silica gel has kept the humidity down there at the low, low level um, for the full seven days. So now I have my respirator, gloves, and brush, so let's take this guy out and take a look at it. I don't know if you could hear it when I was brushing it, but this thing feels and sounds kind of like brushing paper now. It is definitely dry. Um, I also need a smaller brush to reach into the nooks and crevices here to get all of that out. Um, but that definitely dried that flower out. So now we're ready basically for the um, epoxy or ultraviolet curing resin. So here's a comparison to the live flower versus the dried flower. I still have some little crystals attached to the petals there. I've hit them with my big brush, I've hit them with my little brush, I can't get them to detach. They're afraid I'm uh, going to hurt a petal if I pry on them too hard. Um, so I did have some crystals still stay stuck to those petals there. But you can see, you know, this petal is kind of dried and wrinkly a bit, whereas this looks, you know, lusher and wetter. <laughs> but it's not bad for preservation. It's pretty close to the original. All right, I've been working at these crystals with my brush a little more, and I found that if I kind of push away from directly away towards the crystals, I can knock them off the leaves. So I'm getting 
pretty much all those crystals gone, but it definitely is a manual process here to get those last few crystals out. So my UV curing resin isn't here yet, uh, and just for storage I'm going to leave that just laying on top there, so I don't think it needs to be surrounded anymore because it's been dried out, but this will just keep it from getting any more water in it while I'm waiting.